Okay, so for the lab, Chem 106 lab final, um, you can click on here <coughs> and read the instructions. And what we're going to have you do is we're going to have you look at four different unknowns. One un unknown is the weak acid strong base unknown on the uh, titration lab clipboard. One is the strong acid weak base uh, tit um, unknown on the titration lab clipboard in the stock room. The other one is the unknown on uh, salt unknown in the calorimetry lab clip or actually it's not in the clipboard, it's in the, just in the stock room. And the other one is the unknown an organic from the calorimetry lab in the stock room. Okay, so here's how we do that. We go into uh, chemistry here and open it up and go into titrations. And then here in the stock room when it comes up, Okay, you go into the stock room here for titrations. Here on the clipboard, we have the weak acid, strong base unknown. Click on this here, and when you do that, it's going to bring an unknown up here. And that number, 14, is the number that you need to report. And you're going to tell me what's the concentration of that acid in that unknown. And this is the base that's provided. The base is in the burette here. The acid is in the solution here. And as you titrate, you'll get a, a titration curve there. Okay, um, let's see, I'm just going to this over a little bit so we can look at the lab book. Um, there's some information here that tells you the volume of acid that's already in the beaker, right? 25 milliliters of acid is already in the beaker. And again, the burette contains the base. So when you're um, done with that, you could take a picture, screenshot of this so that we're sure to see your unknown number, but you're just going to report the concentration of the acid in there, in this unknown. Okay, start over here. The other one is going to be the strong acid weak base unknown. All right, so that's gonna be a solid here. It's gonna have an unknown number with it. You're gonna to wanna to take a picture of this and submit it as well, so we have the unknown number there. Um, you can click on the book here and see how much mass of your um, material has been added to the beaker. The uh, acid here is added to the burette. And so you're going to perform the titration and from that get the unknown concentration of this material. And again, this material is going to be in weight percent, right? Because it's a solid. So. All right. Now let's go to the other ones. In calorimetry here, we're going to go into the stock room, go into the unknowns, um, choose salts, get an unknown salt here, right? And then we're going to take this, whoops, take this. We're also going to take our calorimeter there, return to the stock room, set up our calorimeter just like we did before. We can turn on the stir bar. We can monitor the temperature there, look at the, the graph. Um, and then we're going to uh, put some water into our, and I'll let you guys decide how much water you want to put into your burette, or sorry, to your calorimeter there. All right. Um, and then I'm going to add a amount of my salt to my calorimeter here. So I'm going to tear this and I'm going to add a certain amount of salt and I want to make sure I'm aware of how much salt I have there. And then um, I'm monitoring my temperature. I got a good baseline, right? So I can put my salt into there and then accelerate my time and watch my change in um, uh, temperature, right? Just like the labs that we've done before here. And the goal here in the end is to report the unknowns joules per gram, joules per gram. All right. Um, 
and you know the volume of water, that's the mass, right? You know the specific heat of water, and from this plot here, you're going to know the change in temperature. And so from that, you'll be able to report the joules uh, per gram. And then um, after you write it in here, you push submit, and then you want to take a picture of, of that for me. Okay? Uh, yep, that's it for that one. And then if we go, let's see, clear our space here, go back into here, get unknown. This time I'm going to do an organic unknown. And um, this organic unknown, I'm going to want to combust it and identify the heat of combustion of the reaction, right? So we can take out our bomb here, open it up, get our container. Um, known volume, and then we're going to put that back in and combust it like you did before. And from this, uh, you're going to be able to, again, report ultimately the kilojoules released per gram of material combusted. All right, and that's what you're going to report there. So none of this should be very new, should be pretty straightforward. So from these unknowns, you're going to get your points for your final exam. Now, um, if I see that you get um, values that are the same as somebody else in the class, then I'll, I'm going to have to have you uh, redo those, all right? So everybody should be getting different unknowns. Um, and if you get the same, then I'll just ask you to redo it because we want to make sure everybody does their work themselves. All right, so just to recap, you're going to want to take pictures of your answers and also for the titration unknowns, you're going to actually want to report the concentrations and that should be enough to let me know that you've done your work. Okay, thanks.